Hi and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the anti uh Rescue CD which is uh, used for removing viruses and malware from your PC. Now assuming your PC is not bootable obviously you're going to need to have this already downloaded unless you've got another machine to download it from. So what I advise you to do is always have one of these downloaded and burnt to a CD just in case. Okay so if you come to this website here uh, www.antivira.com it's on uh, don't worry about the actual link I'll put, post that up for this page um, and then all you need to do really is download I'm going to be downloading the uh, ISO image because I want to use it on a virtual machine to show you guys what it's all about um, but you can actually download the executable if you want and just click on that and it will ask you to put a CD it becomes with a pre um, burning bit of software in there all installed packed in there so all you need to do is click on that and it and ask you to put a CD in and it will burn to a disk or download the ISO version whatever anyway let's get started so I've already got my ISO image on my desktop and I'm going to use my virtual machine to uh, boot that up so let's have a little look and these are really great to have in your CD folder to keep these because they come in real useful so as we can see boot now we can actually go to the uh, I should go to number four I'll try four for the advanced version we'll have a little look and see what's what now once this is uh, fully loaded up okay, as you can see it's in German at the moment so what we need to do is obviously change to the good old British there we go and obviously as you can see um, it's ready to start doing a scan so what we can do now is we're going to do an update here so what we want to do is update let that see what it finds if it needs an update and the beauty of this is uh, obviously that it lets you do an update on it whereas some of the others don't and that's going to be really handy because obviously it's no good having a virus scanner that's out of date. So, but I know it does take some time. Okay, that was a bit weird. I think it's already done it, and I've just done it again. So anyway, so let's uh, have a little look at the uh, configuration. So scan all files, and basically we've got a smart scan. We scan the boot sector only. If you have booting problems, you could scan the boot sector first to see if you can get the thing, thing to boot, or you just do scan all files. Basically, it does take quite a bit of time. Uh, protocol malware records only, or you can uh, you just set this up exactly how you want to. Really, uh, I wouldn't try to repair the infected files. Just it doesn't really matter what they are. Just get rid of them, and. Uh, that's, that's pretty much self-explanatory really, I don't know what they mean by advanced because to me that doesn't look advanced at all. So um, anyway, so we're going to go to the virus scanner now. And then there, uh, let's just see what miscellaneous was, well, well, it was not a lot. Okay, we've got a command line there as well. And uh, I should imagine that's going to be... Okay, so that's going to go to uh, command line come out of the graphic user interface okay so what we're going to do now is uh, scan for uh, some viruses and then you just run a scan like so and that will just probably take quite some time so what I advise you to do at this stage is leave it running and uh, that's about it really leave it running so it clears up all your records find out what's gone on and it'll delete most of them and then hopefully your system will be able to boot. Now if it doesn't boot obviously then they may be still infected. It may have damaged your boot sector or something like that and you may need to repair that but obviously it's just going to help you so much by having this already because what I see every single day is people infected with viruses and they go well, I can't get on the internet, I can't download spyware programs or whatever. It's a bit too late then so this program is going to help you out it's no good as I said if you haven't got another computer download it today, burn it to a CD, keep it in your CD wallet and uh, it's going to come in pretty useful for you 
Anyway, I'm not going to let this scan all the way through. You've seen enough of that. You know basically what it is. Okay. So I'm going to stop that. So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Show your support and subscribe and rate for all my videos. If you've got any questions, any problems, send an email or private message and I'll do my best to help you. Um, and that's about it really. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Bye for now.